Hi, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside systems tour video of this 2012 Toyota Prius plug-in advanced. Now this car has a lot of things going for it. I'm going to kind of go down the list and explain them what they mean and what they are as we walk around and tour the outside of this car starting outside and working our way inside. So you might notice these green stickers on the vehicle. Diamond Access OK California Clean Air Vehicle. That's a really big deal. Also, this car has four brand new tires. All four tires are new. Put four new tires on it. But going back to those green stickers, those green stickers are a big deal because in anywhere in the state of California where we have diamond lanes, which includes toll roads, bridges, uh, carpool lanes, uh, freeway on ramps where they have the little diamond lane those diamond lanes are for two or more people per vehicle some are three or more per vehicle but with this car that access okay permit lets you drive with one person in the car in lanes that are normally only for two or more and that's a big deal because that'll really save you a lot of time it's a major uh, shortcut around the traffic um, and this is the advanced package with the technology package on it. So it's got these special um, That's your headlamp washer and the bumper there is bulge. That's the headlamp washer Because you have these uh, quad beam LED headlights And up on the front you have a forward-looking radar cruise control sensor So your forward-looking radar cruise control sensor is a really big deal because you know there's been a lot of talk in the news about self-driving cars and that radar sensor gives this car some self-driving capabilities now i'm going to do a separate video of the outside condition but this is a certified car non-accident car so let me get inside the vehicle here and continue where we don't have to listen to ice cream trucks driving by selling ice cream in the winter that's got to be a tough job have to be a good salesman for that anyways so taking a look inside the advanced technology package vehicle we're going to start by looking at a couple things i'm showing you this big navigation screen here and this screen tilts out of the way and then you load cds behind it whereas the regular prius um, only have a little single slot on the top. You can load discs behind the screen. You have a much larger screen And so we can keep our vehicle straight here. I'm going to show you the VIN plate here The last three digits of the VIN number are 713 and You'll notice that this car has an eight-way power seat with the power lumbar adjustment up on the dash here, we have our um, various controls. Uh, headlamp washer I mentioned to clean your headlights. Taking a look at the steering wheel, we have our radar cruise control sensor buttons here. These are unique. You only find these on cars on the lower left of the steering wheel with the advanced technology. It's kind of hard to find them. But um, what you'll notice is up here in the overhead display, Right now, this car says it's getting overdriven distance of 49.1 miles. Fuel economy has been 70 miles per gallon at an average speed of 13 miles per hour. But when I turn on the cruise control, it gives me a radar ready indication up there, which means the forward looking radar is ready to take over control of the accelerator on the vehicle and then this is the vehicle to vehicle distance selector so if I press that what happens is you get a distance of far medium or close following distance you see that changing I'm pushing the button and then selecting how close do we want to follow the vehicle ahead so the 
I mentioned self-driving capability. Now this car doesn't steer for you, but it will control the accelerator fully, including in heavy, heavy traffic conditions. And if you need to take over, it'll let you know. It'll beep at you and say you have to take over um, with a beep. So it does have some self-driving capabilities. Now those self-driving capabilities are working at all times when this vehicle is running unless you disable them uh, so with the self-driving capability that forward-looking radar cruise control sensor is working at all times and this has something that they call the pre-collision system and if you're I've had triggered it a couple times where like I'm zooming in on some cars and in the last second I changed to the other lane where there's no cars if the car thinks you're about to crash it'll actually tighten up and pre-tension your seat belts um, they'll go zoop, they'll pull down and, and tighten against you and uh, you'll get some warnings and, and uh, the car will go into pre-collision avoidance mode which will increase the chance that you can avoid a collision if a collision is potentially imminent um, so that's working at all times but um, that might lower your insurance rates it might keep you out of an accident but that cruise control thing is what will really keep you out of an accident and avoid accidents is the radar cruise control will unload your stress because sometimes you're driving and you got the sun in your eyes you're fiddling with your visors and you can barely see in front of you and distractions and people calling you on the phone and things like that we're gonna get into that in a minute um, the radar cruise control will have instantaneous reaction time to the vehicle ahead so when that car slows down if you're driving in heavy traffic norm uh, a normal cruise control you cannot use in heavy traffic but this cruise control you would be better off using cruise control all the time in heavy traffic as long as going faster than 20 mi 24 miles an hour um, but for example the car in front of you is driving 45 and then they speed up to 70 and they slow down to 32 and then they speed up to 70 again and then they they're all their speeds all over the place and then somebody wants to cut you off cruise control works perfect under those circumstances with that adaptive cruise control because it'll automatically follow on a one or two second of following distance from the car ahead it reduces the chance somebody's going to cut you off and if they do it'll start adjusting the speed to the new car that cut you off and if they cut you off too close, it'll give you a warning so you can take over control. Um, works really well. Lowers your stress level. And lets you just relax on the way home. You just steer and, um, and enjoy the ride. So, going on to other features. I mentioned I was going to talk about phone calls. Okay, this phone is connected wirelessly to this vehicle via Bluetooth. So I have my music on here playing and if I go to audio we'll see what's playing I have some Pat Benatar on but if I want to change to a different song like a small boat on the ocean. so I just hit the button on the steering wheel and it changes to the next um, artist whoever that may be And then uh, you can control the volume right here from the steering wheel. So if you want to crank it up or crank it down, you've got Bluetooth streaming music. So with the music loaded on your phone or, you know, streaming from Pandora or iTunes or whatever those music services, I recommend loading it on your phone. But you can also listen to Internet radio as well, such as iHeartRadio via Bluetooth. And when you're driving in the middle of nowhere, you can listen to your favorite radio stations. Um, if you're into satellite radio, this has built-in satellite radio capability. So, uh, you have the sat button right here. You just listen, and unlock to, it all today. listen to XM Sirius. It's the same company now. But, uh, you know, the real advantage is California says you're not allowed to be handling your phone anymore when you're driving. So... Uh, you you have all your phone data right here in uh, synced automatically via Bluetooth. 
So the one I like to point out is the call history button. Call history. So all the phone calls that I've missed, for example, all calls, missed calls, incoming calls, outgoing calls. And remember, this has the adaptive radar cruise control. So if this system is at all distracting, which I think is less distracting than holding your phone, everything is right here. And so it keeps your eyes close to the road instead of looking down at your phone. Your eyes stay up here on the road. And even more to that theme of keeping your eyes to the road, this car has a head-up display which projects your speed information right here on the windshield in front of me. And I'll put that in the pictures. It'll show you speed, fuel economy, and even your navigation turn instructions to so turn left or turn right uh, appear on the head-up display so you can keep your eyes on the road with this vehicle this this is the advanced technology version so new the window sticker on this car was in the ballpark of forty two thousand dollars where the regular Prius plug-in was around thirty three thousand dollars and your entry-level basic Prius would have been about twenty four thousand dollars so this car was almost double the cost of a basic Prius. Much more uh, technology. And the nice thing is that you're not paying double when you buy it used. The poor guy that bought it new paid that double price. But when you buy it used, it'll cost you a little bit more, but it's not going to cost you double. Because the technology depreciation is much more significant. But boy, that stuff is nice to have. Going on, talking about the technology, this does have an what they call the SOS system. It's kind of like General Motors OnStar system. And you have like the OnStar SOS button. You press it right here. And you be, can be connected to a live audio. I'm sorry, live operator. But if you subscribe to that, there's also phone apps. So you can control the air conditioning and remote start the car from your smartphone and and do things like that um talking about remote starting the air conditioning this of course this car has two keys we're including from our dealership we're including two keys so this is the four button remote and you have a remote ac button this little ac button on the on the key fob where it says ac that when you turn the car off you get out, you go inside the bank or Starbucks or whatever. On your way out, you hit that AC button. You press and hold it. It locks the car and it starts up your air conditioning. So if it's a hot summer day, your climate control system will continue to operate after you've left the vehicle. And it's locked up. The engine's not running, just the climate control system. Now, today it's a cold day, so it turned on. It checked the temperature and it said, no, we, we're not needed today. So it turned itself off, not to waste anybody's time because it's not hot today. But on a hot summer day, that can be really handy. Or if you're inside and you want to pre-cool the car before you come out, you can hit that button. Cool the car down for a couple minutes before you get to your car, like when you're leaving work or on your lunch break or whatever. So that's how that works. So let's see if we have books and manuals in here. And yes, we do have a, quite a collection of uh, books and manuals. In fact, this car has its original window sticker and I said this car has a lot of things going for it and I've talked already about the price of it um, this specific car the window sticker was forty thousand eight hundred and eight dollars like I said it was not 42 but it's basically 41 and then when you factor tax on top of that almost double the price of a basic Prius Another thing to point out is that the dealer name right here where it was first delivered was Toyota Motor Sales USA. It wasn't sent to a dealership. It was sent to Vehicle Services Division of Toyota Headquarters in Torrance, California. This is actually a Toyota factory owned since new vehicle. So no individual person, your neighbor, the crazy guy down the street or your boss None of those people ever owned this car. This has never had an individual owning it before. You're going to be the first individual to own this car. 
it's not new because it was registered to Toyota. So Toyota would be effectively the first owner, but Toyota is the factory. It's not an individual. So you will be the first individual to own this car when you buy it. And that's really nice. There have been people driving it. It has miles on the car. It has uh, how many miles on it? Let's take a look. 43,500 miles on it. But see, that's not driving the car home on the way from the bar and picking up, you know, uh, kids at school miles. That was a bunch of Toyota gearheads, you know, car people driving this around and filming TV commercials and things like that. So uh, this has had very light use. It looks like almost like brand new inside. The interior is super clean. And trust me, we're not charging the $40,000 price tag that this car had new. This is a really good deal. Let me unlock the doors and I'm going to show you the insides. And I have a separate video of the condition and we'll go on with that. So to keep, keep it from me blabbering on too long, I'm going to wrap it up. One last thing I want to show you is it does have the backup camera. Backup camera right there. So when you hit it in, in reverse, you do have the backup camera. I'm going to cut it short. Also, you have the electrochromatic auto dimming mirror with home link programmable buttons only on the advanced package. Uh, my name is Mike Johnson. Give me a call. 951-681-2101. Uh, 951-681-2101. Thank you.